everybody good morning welcome back to our last day I don't know what where my phone just went uh, that was weird uh, just dropped my phone uh, welcome back to our last day of our trip we just got off the cruise ship I was gonna vlog like the process and all that but it, it was so fast so you sign up for the debarkation on your app and you can schedule what time you want to get off everybody has to be out of their rooms by 8 15 and everybody has to be off the ship by 9 30 but they schedule you like in 20 minute increments or something so we got up about 6 30 packed up our room we left our room around what 7 30 something like that went up to the buffet got it some coffee and some breakfast and then we just sat up there for a few minutes until it was our time went down to the lobby where everybody was leaving and they sign they scan your card which we can take off now they scan your sign and sale card and then you go through uh customs but man customs is so much easier now because of the face facial recognition you just you don't even have to show them your passport you just stand on this little um, platform thing and it scans your face and, and then you get a little check mark if it matches and that's it and then we went and got our luggage and got in the car and here we are in hey, New Orleans traffic and mom, mom and everybody else thinks that, or like worried that we were gonna hit the storm because as we're filming this um, Helene is coming up Florida Hurricane Helene you know, we have had none, none of it. Like we, it is sunny here. We are way, way away from where the hurricane's coming. So we've had no bad weather at all. Um, yesterday was a little bit like overcast, but a little bit of rain here and there, but no like stormy weather. Anything was very calm. But anyway, we have a six and a half hour drive ahead of us. That's the only bummer thing. The, the road trip down here was really fun. <laughs> the road trip home not as fun well, you got in the wrong lane <laughs> we're trying we're trying here they may let you over oh lord we driving in new orleans is not fun i drove into when we got here drove into the city i was driving i was like i'm not doing that again it stressed me out we've had such a good trip such a good trip but we we're so excited to get home and see our babies we missed everybody so much um back to like reality and cell phones and text messages coming in last night around midnight we were able to get on our phones and check our stuff because we were close enough to the the city to where we didn't get like roaming charges and stuff so anyway we're gonna vlog today our trip back home we need to stop and get the kids something because we only got off the ship i mean we had a port day canceled and the port we stopped in, we only got off the ship for like an hour and a half. So most of the time we were on the ship and we looked in the gift shops for something to bring them back. And there really wasn't anything that I felt like they would like. So we did get the boys a t-shirt. We got Lucy a t-shirt too. But we also got her some earrings. And I wanted to get the boys something that they would really like as a tr like a prize for us coming home. I couldn't really find anything. So we're gonna stop at a Walmart, try to find them something as a little prize. I mean, I feel like Nate needs like a book or something. And Mark, I'm not sure what, but they've done so good with us being gone and been so good for their grandparents and all that. So I'm excited to see everybody tonight. But anyway, we will vlog the trip home. It's saying in the GPS right now, if we don't stop, we'll get there at 310. It is. I guess I should tell you what time we got in the car. It is 8.47. We were in our car by 8, I think it was like 8.34. So we are still in the rental car, um, which I don't even know if we talked about on the ride down here. I guess we did. I don't remember. I have so much footage I'm going to have to organize and go through and, and edit. But um, when David's car got in the accident, it got put in the shop. It should be done now. It should be fixed. Um, but it wasn't going to be fixed in time for our trip. So they said that we could take the rental car 
um, because we weren't going to, you know, we needed a car for our trip. So that was actually really nice. We've been able to drive the rental car and not put a bunch of miles on our car and all that. So we're in a rental car still. Um, maybe we'll get to turn it in today and pick up David's car, but I'm not sure. It depends on what time we get back home and if the car's ready. So anyway, y'all come hang out with us today. We're going to make the, the long drive home. Um, it's been such a fun week. It's very bittersweet that it's over. It's like we've been planning it for a year. So it's like that buildup of the excitement of it and all that. And then it's like, oh, and now it's over. <laughs> but it was so much fun. And um, I can't say enough good things about the Carnival Valor, all the crew on board, the port, all of it, like the terminal, whatever. Everybody has been great. Um, amazing crew. Amazing ship. I mean, 10 out of 10. We have no complaints at all. So, the only letdown, I would say, of the whole trip, besides the port getting canceled, which that was out of everybody's control, and it ended up, I think, being a more restful experience for us, was that the comedy club comedian missed his flight. So, there was only one comedian on board, and he seemed to be more of the uh, how should we say, risque of the two. Like he did a lot of the explicit shows and stuff and that's just not our style. And so we went to, he had one PG show we went to and it just wasn't that great. And that was one of my favorite things of our last cruise was the comedians, but not this time. But the cruise director was great. All the music was great. The shows, everything was great. So what do you think, honey? I think it was probably the best cruise we've ever taken. Definitely. All things considered, yeah. And I really enjoyed spending time with you. I enjoyed relaxation. Enjoyed, enjoyed just clearing our heads. Even with all the stuff we're having to come home to and deal with, it was it was good to get away and reconnect and yeah. remind ourselves that, you know, without kids, we still like each other. Well, so. it's, what I loved about it is you're able to, like, I feel like I was able to get away with David and not have to, like, share him because... We have to, sh like, he is so busy with the church and all the stuff that you're always running. You're always on call. You're always, you know, even if we're on a date, if even if we're out of town at the visiting family, you're always, you know, stuff comes up and, and there's stuff that happens and you have to be checking your emails and phone calls and all of that. And so when you can truly, like, get away and unplug, it's really great. Um, so we had a great time, but... Anyway, here's to a nice, stress-free, safe drive home. We will be stopping with y'all, showing y'all what we do. This is also the last day before we get back on our healthy eating plan, and I am ready for it because we have had lots of fun, but I feel like, oh, too. Like, yep. you know. So, anyway. It's a beautiful day. Let's hope it stays that way and we don't run into any rain and all that stuff from the storm. I don't think we will. I think we're going to get there before. Prayers for everybody. Then yes, before, I, hope uh, everyone, I hope everyone that was in the path of the storm is safe. By the time you guys are watching this, it's already come through. Um, but if you are thinking about doing a cruise, we highly recommend going out of New Orleans. It's a really neat experience going down the Mississippi, all of that, until you get into the into the ocean um we really really love the carnival of valor we really loved it so you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with the cruise but anyway we will see you guys in a little bit we're gonna get some miles under us and um we'll see y'all later as we stopped in mississippi we're in what jackson are we almost to jackson we're about 30 minutes away from 30 jackson. minutes from jackson we're hoping to find the kids a little something especially mark and nate they had no books in there that Nate already didn't have. So we got him some Doritos. That's always a winner for him. And his teacher just sent me pictures of his class and the homecoming float, the cutest thing ever. Um, we got Mark a little Spider-Man car and a Spider-Man sticker book. And I found Lucy a Babysitter Club book. So, and we got Mark some M&Ms. So we're getting all of the kids' favorite things so we can bring them back something because we didn't get to do a lot. Sorry, you guys, we didn't get to do a lot of shopping in Mexico, probably cheaper this way anyway, so. Sure. 
we're just cruising, cruising right along. It's what, oh, it's 1130. So we will check in shortly. And if anything else exciting happens, we're just, right now we're just driving down the road and we keep getting texts and I realize how much I have not missed the sound of like group texts going off and like the, um, like Coles and Belk and all these people text me all the time. It's kind of like, that's okay. We're, we're, we are excited to get texts from the kids' teachers. I saw Lucy's um, choir teacher sent pictures of her on the float. So Lucy and Nate both got to ride in the homecoming parade. Nate on his class float and then Lucy on the choir float. So I hate I missed that, but at least we got some pictures. So anyway, how are you doing, honey? Do you need me to switch out with you? Nope. Okay, he's doing good. I need you to buckle your seatbelt. I need you to be buckled. Anyway, we're getting back on the road, you guys. We stopped and got gas, and we stopped and went to the bathroom, so we are good to go. Okay, guys, it is like almost 5 o'clock. We are home. Well, we're like almost to our neighborhood. I am tired. I fell asleep for like the last 30 minutes. But we made it safe and sound. Excited to see our babies. We talked to them about an hour ago. They all got home from school and everything. I missed them so much. We were gone almost a full week. That is not funny. He took a terrible picture of me, and I am not showing y'all that. That was mean. Your mom saw it. She loved it. <laughs> Who else did you send it to? Just your mom. Oh, my God. That's so mean. I could have put it on Facebook with all the world to see, but I'm not that I would have killed you. Yeah, you would have. Um, anyway, that was rude. Oh, come on. It's funny. You would have done it to me. Oh, my God. That's a terrible picture. They're so tired, like, after vacation tired. Well, the best part is the sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> that is so mean. Okay, tell everybody what happened at the gas station. It wasn't that funny. It was <laughs> so funny. Okay, then you tell them. Okay, so at the gas station, there's a cappuccino dispenser. There's about five options. Underneath each option is a little <laughs> cup holder slot where you put the cup in, you push the button, and it's going to come right underneath that end of the cup. She puts it in <laughs> slot number three and then pushes button number one and goes, why? How did I miss that? <laughs> We're so tired. I didn't see the different slots. It, 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 it didn't want <laughs> It's like, what are you doing? I was not passed out. I was like, I so he was laughing so hard. The people in the gas station were like, "What is wrong with y'all?" So I put my cup under to get mine, and it comes straight under. And she's like, "What?" <laughs> that was, that was oh so funny. God. Anyways, anyway, we're home. You thought there was one slot, and all five fit no, to that no, one. No, no, no. I it just looked like where the label was and where the little dispenser was kind of off center, uh, and I didn't see the dispenser. I just saw the label. That's what happened. But anyway, we're going to go see our kids. We are 30 we, seconds from seeing them. We got, um, we got, or we were gone almost a whole week. We left Friday morning at 4 a.m. We're coming back Thursday evening. Thursday evening at 5 p.m. So almost a full week. That is the most we've ever left them. So yes, let's go see them. Woo! You guys, it is days later and I realized I never ended the vlog from when we, we got home. Um, it was crazy just getting back, seeing everybody. The kids were so excited to see us. Um, and then we ended up going out to dinner and eating some Mexican food with David's mom and dad and the kids. And then we were just completely exhausted. It, we called it a night pretty early. So thank you all for hanging out with us for our cruise vlog. And get, I forgot to say who was the most excited to see us. Do you want to guess? Did you miss mommy? She loves Grammy, though. She, that Grammy's, after me, Grammy's her second favorite. She loves Nani, too. So they took good care of her. She was fine, weren't you? But she was so excited to see Mommy. She goes this, <laughs> like, she's like, freaks out when she sees me. And the kids were also really excited to see us. Um... But thank you all for so much for hanging out with us during our cruise vlogs. I hope you enjoyed them. We had a wonderful time. It was such a great trip. I'm already thinking of when we can do it again because I don't want to wait seven years to do it again. So I love you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.